ஹாய் வெல்கம் டு நர்சிங் மந்த்ரா ஐ ஹோப் ஆல் யூ ஆர் கீப்பிங் வெல் நர்சிங் மந்த்ரா சேனல் ப்ரொவைட்ஸ் யூ ஆன்லைன் டீச்சிங் ப்ரோக்ராம் ஃபார் டு லேர்ன் ஈஸி அண்ட் ஃபாஸ்டஸ்ட் வே இன் த நர்சிங் கரியர் ஸோ இட் வில் ஹெல்ப் யூ ஃபார் மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் த காம்பிடேட்டிவ் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் மை மோட்டோ இஸ் டு ஹெல்ப் யூ டு ஸ்டடி ஈஸி அண்ட் ஃபாஸ்டஸ்ட் வே ஆஃப் த நர்சிங் ஆல் த சிஸ்டம் I think some of, of some of you are uh, new to this channel. If you are new to this channel, okay and you didn't subscribe the channel until now, please subscribe the channel and press the bell button to get the updated videos. And my previous videos also you can watch by this. We already uploaded the videos respiratory system, ophthalmic system like and so on. So today I am going to take the ENT system. So what are the main points in the ENT system? So before going to th- through that, we want to know what is the basic anatomy of the ear. So here is the picture you can see in that the pinna outer covering here you can see the pinna, auricular canal and tympanic membrane. These are the external part of the ear. and the middle ear in the middle ear we will have the bony parts and uh, eustachian canal everything will be there and you know the uh, like uh, ear bones malleus ingus and stapes this also will be there in the middle ear and this part is the inner ear so here it will be semi circular canal is there and the cochlea all this will be like a, a fluid also there uh, surrounding this and there is a we can see like a eighth cranial nerve vestibular cochlear nerve is the eighth cranial nerve so this one also branches also will be there so normally we are um, testing some of the uh, test it is we are checking the vestibular cochlear nerve functioning so this is the basic anatomy which we want to know regarding the competitive exams so mainly you know the smallest bone that is stapes and uh, you can see the main uh, symptoms which we have some of the ear infections we will get tinnitus uh, tinnitus means ringing of ears and vertigo will be there the like a dizzy uh, spells will be there and uh, sometimes you can um, hear the nystagmus nystagmus means the uh, like a sudden eye movement like this uh, okay it is a sudden eye movement we can feel a uh, nystagmus if you have something some problem in the ear so um and regarding the hearing loss we have two types of hearing loss that is conductive hearing loss and sensory neural hearing loss conductive hearing loss is the any problem in the middle ear and the external ear we are telling it as conductive hearing loss so the pathway through the external and middle ear any um, problem is there means it will leads to the conductive hearing loss and sensory neural so it is related to the neuro sensory neural so we can say any part to the inner ear it will leads inner ear means in the cochlea and semi circular canal it will leads to the uh, sensory neural hearing loss that means in damage to the any vestibular cochlea nerve all this will leads to the inner ear problems that is sensory neural hearing loss will be there so do you know what is the organ of corti it is for helping for the acute hearing so organ of corti is the organ which help for the acute hearing so, so we can move through the diagnostic findings in the end system so first diagnostic finding but it is very important uh, during the preparatory exams point of view that is otoscopy so otoscopy you will think what is important so otoscopy usually we are finding the question they are asking uh, for the adult and pedia how we want to examine through the otoscope for the adult we have to pull the pinna up and backward and for the pedia we have to pull the pinna downward and backward this is the main important question which they are asking for all of the uh, most of the exams they are asking this question and you should not touch the patient and you should be little um, like uh, relax the make the relax the patient avoid the um, external ear injuries in the especially in the pediatrics and always when you are checking um, okay like in a peaceful environment you can uh, 
check the through the otoscope this is regarding otoscopy and uh, that is that much is only important thing and next uh, our test is like a romberg test romberg test this is also important it will uh, like detect the eighth cranial nerve function romberg test i think uh, most of the nurses will be knowing regarding romberg test because the doctors are always asking the patients to stand straight and close their eyes and the hands uh, hands should be hang freely and uh, we will ask the patient to close okay close eyes like this and stand like this if the patient is falling uh, or swaying forward and going to fall okay uh, like that we are checking so normally if uh, the condition is normal the uh, balancing system is normal patient should stand straight if they are going to fall some uh, problem is there in the inner ear balancing problem is there so that is romberg test and we have the watch test watch test five inch lateral we are keeping a watch that tick tick sound we will ask the patient to listen to that sound whether it is he is hearing that sound or not if he is not hearing that also a problem with the conduct hearing loss and next our test is voice test voice test the examiner will stand one to two feet away from the uh, like uh, from the patient and will ask uh, repeat some words or they will say like apple iphone like that some word and ask the patient to uh, repeat it back uh, they will uh, check with the left side and then uh, they will go to the right side like that they will change the position and they will um, check for the voice test whether they are hearing properly or not that is one to two feet distance they are doing the voice test and caloric test caloric test is most important in terms of this exam purpose of you uh, which they are asking how we will detect the brain death so uh, through this caloric test we can detect the brain death or any cerebellar lesion eighth cranial nerve functioning okay all this uh, purpose we are doing this caloric test so what is this caloric test most of you heard regarding this caloric test i i guess so so here we are using the cold water and hot water so if cold water we are uh, pouring on to one uh, ear so the nystagmus on to the opposite side will uh, we can see nystagmus means the uh, eyes okay, involuntary eye movement will be the uh, towards the opposite side that means uh, it is normal functioning of the brain and if we are pouring the warm water the nystagmus should be the same side that is also indicating like uh, it is normal functioning of the brain if there is no movement at all no nystagmus at all it is indicating the cerebral death so this is the caloric test i hope you clear about the caloric test so next main important uh, one more important topic is tonic fork test in tonic fork test most of you get confused regarding this test your burst test and renes test so you can see here in weber's test we are keeping uh, after vibrating the tonic fork uh, we are keeping the vibrating tonic fork onto the forehead of the uh, patient and normally we can hear in the same side okay both side okay same vibration the patient can feel but if the um, person is having the conductive hearing loss they can uh, same ear they can hear it okay if it is affected uh, this ear so same ear the person can hear that is conductive loss and sensory neural means opposite ear can uh, hear the uh, means the feel the vibrations uh, that is in the weber test that is sensory neural um, hearing loss so sensory neural it will be opposite and conductive loss it will be same here it will be affecting so uh, here you can see in the conductive loss so the same ear affected ear is this is and same ear the vibration is feeling here and the sensory neural uh, like um, the opposite ear it is affecting okay so here it will be the opposite ear the vibration they can feel in the sensory neural loss this is regarding the weber test now we have seen the weber test 
So now we will go through the Rini test. Rini test um, like a vibrating fork we are keeping on the mastoid process. That means the back of the uh, ear, the bony process. So um, we will ask the patient to uh, raise hand once they finish the uh, like uh, bone conduction they feel so after that once they have raised the hand we have to keep the tonic thread uh, in the front of front ear near to ear so we'll ask the patient when it is finishing just raise the hand like that so after finishing that they will just raise the hand like that we are checking the renew test so air normally the air conduction is more than the bone conduction more than means double than the bone conduction that is in the normal and in the sensory neural hearing loss also we can see the air conduction will be double than the bone conduction and in conductive hearing loss it will be bone conduction is greater than air conduction that means the time okay bone conduction is greater than air conduction in conductive hearing loss and patient cannot hear also uh, that means the negative rinne test so posterior rinne test is the normal and native rinne test is the conductive hearing loss this is regarding rinne test and weber test I think you are clear regarding this diagnostic findings in the IND system.